Grade 3 Math number 103, Measuring Perimeter. We discussed perimeter in a previous video, so we're going to look at these shapes and see how this peri the perimeters are measured on them, okay? This one is measured in inches, so I'm going to try to do this with one hand while using my camera, so let's see how this goes. I've got that this is 8 inches, so this side of my measuring tool is inches, and if I flip this over, this side is centimeters. See the little CM there? Okay. Now, you put the edge of the ruler up on this point right here, and you see where the line ends. Okay? And it ends at 8 inches. See that? It's 8 inches long. Okay, this one is 7 inches. So if I put the ruler there, it ends at the 7 inch mark. See that? It stops at 7. Alright, this one is 8 inches. See that? It's 8 inches long. And then this side is 7 inches, right here. See? If I line this up, it's 7 inches. See? So, that's the perimeter of this shape of the purple shape here. I measured with the centimeter side on this shape and came up with these measurements. So, this side is 10 centimeters, and if I line this up here, you can see it's 10 centimeters. See how the orange line stops at the 10? And I measured it all the way around, and those are the measurements I got, and that's the perimeter of that shape. I did the same thing with this one. I measured that this side is 10 centimeters, this side's 8, so is this one. That's 10, and that's 10 centimeters. And that's the perimeter of that one. And what we do is we add up these numbers, and that will give us the entire edge measurement, okay? So we've got 10, and another 10, and 8, and 8, and another 10. And if we add these up, we will have the perimeter of this pentagon shape. So, let's add like numbers. 8 and 8 is 16, and then we have 10, 20, 30. 30 and 16 is 46. So because we're doing centimeters, it would be 46 cm, and the perimeter of this shape would be 46 cm. That's its perimeter, okay? So, all you have to do is measure whether you're doing centimeters or inches. You measure starting with the edge of the ruler to where the line ends. You write in all those numbers and you add them up to get the perimeter. Let's add up the orange one, okay? We've got 15, we've got 20, we've got 30, right here, and we've got 10 and 13. We need to add these, okay? Sorry about my nasty 3 here. 5 and 3 is 8, and 1 plus 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 88 centimeters. How about this one? We've got 8 plus 8, which is 16, and 7 and 7 is 14. We add the 16 and the 14. 6 and 4 is 10. Carry the 1. Put the 0 down. 1, 2, 3. The perimeter is 30 inches around our purple shape. So, again, make sure you know if you're supposed to be doing it in centimeters or inches, and then measure the distance all the way around on all the sides and you will get the total measurement of the perimeter. Isn't that easy? It was. That was very easy.